What's going on, everybody? RE Solutions here for our weekly tidbit Thursday. And as you can see today, we have Sean O'Connor with us today. Uh, Denise and Belinda are off today because it is Belinda's birthday. Yes, it is. Happy she's, birthday. Happy she's birthday. 55 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might get a little bit of trouble for that one. How old is she? How is she? 47. 47. 47. 47. She's catching up, though. She's catching up to me. So, anyway, this week we are hosting, hosting. We are doing our uh, monthly stats. So, we're going to be yes. talking about January's housing market stats and give you some insight on that. Uh, for those of you who don't know who we are, we are RE Solutions. XV, we are a real, residential real estate and property management company who loves to educate and help people find solutions for all of their real estate needs. Um, we do this by hosting this weekly Tidbit Thursday, talking about real estate and San Antonio. And we also do some other seminars, which we'll talk about later. So, But if you like any of that, go ahead and make sure you follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Um, we're everywhere. Yeah, we're pretty much everywhere. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the stats unless y'all have any comments. No, anything else? No. Any no. other announcements? <laughs> no. Well, we do have a, we, we have an upcoming property. Oh, yeah. It's going to be going yes. live. Right? So if y'all haven't seen the video, we, we did send, send out a video a couple of days ago about one of our rental properties. Uh, 11002 Victor's Hill. It's a three, two and a half. Uh, it's going to be located uh, uh, between Shane Field and, and uh, Culebra, Culebra uh, right in that area. Beautiful home, uh, nice size lot, uh, new flooring, freshly painted. It's a, it's, a, it's a good deal. Yeah, it's a nice little property and um, corner lot kind of thing. So and it's, it's going to be, uh, we're going to have an open uh, an open house for it this weekend. Yes. Uh, members of our team, the Retta clan, the Retta yes. team the group, they're going to be added together, opening it up. Uh, this weekend for everybody to come and check it out. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into the stats. Go stats. We're going to be talking about the sales stats first. So total active listings. Go ahead. Go ahead. So total <laughs> active listings. So it actually went down 23%. We're at 4,060 for the month of January for uh, San Antonio. However, uh, we got to realize or, or understand that Winter, on average, is normally considerably slower than spring and summer months for sales. So uh, the fact that we're down 23% really doesn't come as a shock uh, to me, more of a just uh, cyclical norm of, uh, of the sales cycle uh, and the direction it goes all the time. Uh, last year, at this same time frame, there was 5,361 uh, active listings. So that's... And we'll cover why that is here in a minute too. Yes. So, uh, it's kind of crazy. So new listings right now. New listings right now. We have uh, 3,258 <laughs> listings, which is, is again down last year. It's 5% from last year where there were 3,448 new listings. Again, it's winter. It's, <laughs> it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. Right. And then uh, the average price per square foot actually went up. So even though the, the, supply and, and once again this is supply and demand supply obviously. and demand all um, around so supply went down prices went up so it, it did go up 20 percent to a dollar a dollar 161 dollars uh, per square foot compared to last year's which was 134 yes I, yeah 134 it's very hard for me to see that because 160 dollars 161 dollars Per yeah. square foot. Yeah. So it's a 20% increase from last year. So, uh, yeah. And prices are just going to continue going up, I think, uh, just because of the supply. So days on market actually went down to 26 days. And that is a 30, 26 days. 32% difference from last, last year. Last I checked, February is the shortest month of the year. And that still has 28. <laughs> but this is January. This is January. I'm uh, just saying. Just, yeah. It, Houses are off the market in 26 days. And that's the average, obviously, because uh, we've, we've had properties that we've placed on the market and they have gone. Uh, and, and this is counting days that the houses are still under active option and yes. pending and stuff like that. So it may already have a contract, but it hasn't been closed yet. So you got to think 
Sometimes we get a, a property, we'll put it on the market, we'll get several contracts within the weekend, and now we changed it to active option, uh, and it stays there on active option, and those days continue to count, right? Yeah. And then pending, those days continue to count until it's actually closed. So, And yet, with everything you just said, it's still less than yes. 30. Yeah. I mean, yes. you're squeezing inspections in there fast. Yes, exactly. <laughs> fast. exactly. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> man. It's awesome. It, just the whole market is, is crazy, even for the winter. For the record, um, I just want to note as we're reviewing these slides and going over them, we can see how many people are viewing us. And the ladies that are off didn't even sign in to check up on us. Well, you know, yeah. I just want to point that out, Pete. We have one viewer. Um, we don't know who it is, but if you want to put your name in the comment section, we'll we'll shout you out. <laughs> We're going to but, shout out the ladies for not participating well, in yeah, watching well, us. We're they're putting driving, work in here. They're man. driving. So We're, anyway, <laughs> going into the total sales. Go ahead, Sean. You got this one. All right. Uh, total sales for January is uh, 2022. It's going to be 2,436 total sales, which is down 6% from last year where there was 2,607. I mean, down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a little bit. It's a little bit down. I mean, but that that's that's just following the regular trend, like right. I said, it's the winter trend. So that exactly. doesn't that doesn't surprise uh, uh, anybody here. So, so this is the <laughs> this is the portion that gets me because um, a lot of the reason why uh, the sales are so low or properties being put on the market is so low is because there's no inventory. Uh, a lot, a lot of builders are trying to catch up mm -hmm. in building properties, and a lot of individuals aren't selling their home right now because several reasons. And one is because probably they, if they're trying to stay here in San Antonio, it's harder for them to find a, a place, a replacement home. Yeah, so so they rather just stay there for stay right where now. they're so, at. And so, uh, go ahead. Well, Sean and I were just talking yeah. about this too with the difficulty of getting supplies. Some of the new builders aren't even. Uh, opening up as much inventory as they possibly could right, right i mean yeah. it's uh it, that that number i've uh i understand that accumulatively our team has over 20 years yeah. uh, of experience um however we accumulatively we've yeah. never seen 1.1 month uh that's, inventory that's so for those of you who don't know 1.1 months of inventory basically means that if no other houses were put on the market uh to date, mm -hmm. we only have roughly a month before we sell all the properties that before we run out. Yeah, yeah. that are in inventory right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, is that going to increase? We don't know. Obviously, we hope it increases. I'll tell you right now, builders once again are, are working hard. I just I just visited a KB Homes, um, what's that thing called subdivision yesterday around ninety and Grossenbacher, and I was talking to the salesperson there. And they opened up their lot of homes starting in February. They opened up 50 homes and they sold out those 50 homes in three months. So right now they're finishing up construction on all those homes right now. And they won't open up their next phase until May. So man, shout May out to uh, uh, James Poole at Perry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he that was wasn't telling the us, subdivision. No, no, different, but, different subdivision. He's with Perry Homes, James Poole, and uh, he was giving us some statistics as far as they are, uh, their communities and and Perry Homes communities are involved, and and he's it's basically the same. They're they're just running out, and they can't um, they can't build enough for for the clients just because uh, inventory, yeah, uh, um, the inventory of all the materials they need to build and they good can't day. get them in yeah and i'm glad enough. you brought that up because this morning actually i was looking at some slides and i should have pulled them up but there's some slides that actually break down um the percentage of uh, the building material how mm -hmm. how far it's gone up and stuff like that and some materials have actually gone up more than 50 percent um, mm. in the last two months because of just shortage of it so it's kind of crazy but all the all, there's there's a gigantic spike as of January. There's a gigantic spike of all the materials, and this is all the materials as far as lumber and fixtures and tiles and things of that nature. It breaks it down to a nice little graph and stuff like that. So inflation is just hitting hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So craziness. But you know what? 
houses are still being sold because your your investor just bought one. Yeah. That's the one that we're putting on the market. Denise is working with uh, three clients right now, I think, mm -hmm. that are putting in offers on houses. Belinda is working with a couple as well. You're right? working. You're working with you're one. Working I with am one. working with one. Absolutely. Yeah, so, so people are still buying and selling. Just uh, there's just not that many. <laughs> so, so as far as the average price um, on the sales side, you want to cover that? Any of you? Sean, go ahead. Well, go ahead. okay. I'll go with the average price. Okay. The average price uh, for January 2022 is $348,168. Um, the median price in San Antonio uh, is $300,000. All right. Now, for as opposed to last year, the average price was two thousand or $297,308. So it's gone up 17%. Uh, the median price it right now is $254,000, yeah. which is, again, that's another increase. It's 18%. So it's it, the price is rising. I mean, we were talking last year that a lot of things were right in that 13% range, and it's not it's not going down. It's going up. Yes. So yeah. with no indication of, 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 of slowing down. No, no absolutely not. So, uh, you know, the, the more talk about waiting to sell or waiting to see what the market does, it, uh, uh, right. it is no question what it does. The price right. is going up. The demand is going up and things are getting more expensive here. It's, uh, and know, uh, military city, actually, USA. Shout out to Chris Fouts yeah. from Align Mortgage. But he was, uh, I was just speaking with him earlier, and the VA rates have gone up to 3.6 now, mm -hmm. right? where, yeah. where they were at almost uh, two, almost, well, two as last three, month they were at four. three. Yeah. Yeah. About 3%. I'm talking so about gone originally up. it was. Oh, no. Well, no. Well, <laughs> they were nothing originally. Yes. Yes. That's true. But, but it, it, it's gone up already. So. Yeah. But you know what? 3.6 is still lower than the average that San Antonio was in pre pandemic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because, uh, Around that time, it was four, four points or four, four point five or something like that. Something like yeah. that. So, um, yeah, interest rates are rising, but it's still, it's still, it's still a pretty good market out there. Um, and as far as the these medium and average prices, uh, if you look at a chart, and we we normally do a seller seminar on the last mm -mm, no. seller seminar is the second saturday of the second month. saturday of every month we do a seller seminar uh usually with a line mortgage uh or at their facility and we talk about the actual statistics and we break it down a even more and we actually show the stats from 2014 to date and you should see the price difference of how uh, the prices of properties have just in incrementally increased and then you see that spike Right. In uh, 2019. Yeah. Well, 2020. 20, yes, yeah, 2020. 2020. So kind of crazy. Anyway, so that is the sales side. Now, obviously, we are also a property management company, and we talk about uh, the real estate. I mean, the rental market as well. Mm -hmm. uh, not many people put out rental stats. Uh, sometimes we don't put out the rental stats uh, in every uh, stat video because we may not have them because this is something that really does not get um, showcased too much by mm -hmm. by MLS. So we have to actually research some of this stuff. But so the total rentals uh, for or the total rented for uh, January 2022 was 1,022 uh, renters uh, rentals, uh, which is up six percent from last year, which was 961. I think. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I got always... glasses, bro. I, <laughs> I, this is very hard for me to see. So that's there. that's just that catches me off guard so much. So for all the years we've done property management together, um, we would always explain to owners that if they place their house on the market in the winter time frame, that just to be prepared because it was going to sit potentially right. for some time. But because uh, of the most recent statistic of almost 65 or is it 66 people a day moving to San Antonio. Right. Um, exactly. The homes are just. And they can't find a home to, to actually they're purchase. They're disappearing yeah. for, or, for a or rental. They, they can't find the home that they want. So they rather go ahead and rent out a property. Until they can find. Until they can find something. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, continuing with the rental average per square foot. 
All right, now, uh, rental average price per square foot uh, right now in January 2022 was $1.01, uh, which is way up. Uh, last year, it was uh, 86 cents per first square foot for a rental here in San Antonio. And that's the pressure that the this this hot market for, for purchasing is putting on the renter's market. It's just pushing rent up and, and you know, creating a lot more uh, opportunity uh, for somebody to, you know, to it's, do that. Yeah, it's it's creating a lot of opportunities for the for the renters, yes. the landlords. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, you know, not many people are used to paying uh high dollar rents right um when it comes to rent unless you are a, a type of individual that just does not want to buy totally mm -hmm. and just wants to rent for the rest of your life that's cool uh some individuals need to rent and these prices this increase in prices is kind of hurting them as mm -hmm. well so uh because we heard it the other day right about um uh, prices are going up but people's pays are not are so not. So at least not at the same rate. Right. No. Exactly. So uh, they're finding a little bit more difficult. So, you know, this is just what it is right now. So I don't know. How, I don't even know how you would even. Uh, <laughs> how would you even work that? I mean, so 17 percent increase. So let's see. Oh, so days on market. Uh, once again, uh, as as I just said, we used to tell owners uh, the property's not uh, or the property might potentially sit on the market uh, one to two months before uh, somebody got in there. And we're looking at 38 days. It was rented out, um, which is a decrease of 10 percent, which was 42 days on market last year. So just the idea that just just a week over a month and that house is gone meant that two weeks in at a bare minimum, if not three, that house already had multiple applications, people were getting approved and uh, property management companies or renters, the rental owners, the landlords were, were changing locks, cleaning the house and getting it ready for that next person to move right on in. So that's uh, uh, that's barely enough time for a full turnover, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's usually, yeah. <laughs> it's, Those are our stressful times. <laughs> But it's all good. It's all good. So, average price. Woo hoo! Woo, Sean, take this. Right, one. I yeah, can't even I was talk. To say, well, average <laughs> price. We're gonna talk. Uh, December twenty twenty one. I'm is, sorry. Is that, that is, is January. That was just, in January. Just missed. Oh, it's uh, fine. January. Yeah. Um. So it's gonna be one thousand seven hundred thirty one dollars. Uh, it's just a price increase. It's thirteen percent uh just average price of rent has gone up from what used to be 1532 to all the way to 1731 that's the 13% which is very close it's weird because that was like almost last year's numbers for the for the home owning market now is reflecting back similarly in the renter market this year yeah. like that drop back is very i mean it's the same it's that crazy is, that's amazing yeah I, we still get individuals calling obviously that want to rent out properties that, you know, in the 1200, 1400 range. And it's just not possible. It's, well, it's possible. It's just the type of pop property that you're going to rent out and, and the location of the property, right? If, if you're trying to rent a property uh, in the far west side or Stone Oak or Northeast, uh, you're, you're not, not going to find a, a 1200, $1400 rental anymore. Uh, at least for a single family home. You know, you may find some for apartments, uh, but even those, a lot of the apartments nowadays are luxury apartments and they are charging quite a bit, you know, uh, as, as far as for their, you know, two, three bedroom uh, apartments. One bedrooms you're probably going to get for like 800, 900, maybe a thousand dollars for a one bedroom, but uh, it, it's just all the prices are going up. So, uh, it's kind of bad because when we call when they call us in and, and ask for that, we kind of, you know, have to tell them, break it to them. You're not going to find anything like that. We can do a search and we can send you what we find. Uh, but some it's just, it's just times a, it's zero. <laughs> that pool is just getting so much smaller. Yeah. Because um, it used to be at one point in time that the uh, the average or the norm was a fourteen to fifteen hundred dollar house. Um, and th that's kind of all but gone. Yeah, that's that's it's insanity to uh, to an extent. 
I mean, it's great for investors and and uh, um, that they're more than getting their fair share um, of cash on cash return on that property. Yeah. Uh, but it's it is it is becoming more difficult for uh, uh, for the average blue collar worker, if you would, right, uh, to pay for that rent. Right. It's kind of oof, kind of feel bad for them. Yep. All right. Well, those are the stats for the sales market and for the rental market for January. Uh, today is Thursday, which is our the third Thursday. Third of Thursday the of the month. So today we will be hosting our veteran business owner um, workshop workshop mm -hmm. at the Fairnon office of Align Mortgage. Off of I-10. Um, off mm -hmm. of I-10 and De Zavala out there. Um, it's a place for uh, for. It says veteran business owners, but obviously we we open it up to all small business owners. It's just a place for us to learn, uh, network, and support each other. Uh, today we're going to have once again Hardy Walters and David Tristan mm -hmm. uh, talking up there for uh, as the key speakers and stuff like that. So great place to come and network and just share uh, share life and talk about your business and stuff like that. So please come out. It's at six p.m this evening mm -hmm. so um and then this things, saturday yep well, I'll roll right into go it. for right. it this <laughs> saturday we're stoked uh this saturday we're having that was the wrong slide here's the right yeah. slide this yeah. saturday we're having the landlord 101 seminar what you need to know before you rent out your home we're going to be offering uh uh current landlords or in the, or let people that are thinking about becoming a landlord we're going to try to break it down for you uh as, as pete referenced before we like to educate so essentially we're trying to keep you out of jail uh, we're <laughs> trying to make sure that all decisions and choices you make when renting your property out are all uh legal decisions uh, appropriate decisions and nothing that's going to um impact you negatively yes yes right? when it comes to rentals uh there are a bunch of legalities uh when it becoming a landlord uh, a lot of the big big box mm -hmm. uh, brokerages like keller williams century 21 yeah, even exp well, that we're with do not like to do property management mm -hmm. uh, just because of the legalities and they rather you do property management uh, on your own brokerage and that's what we've done obviously with re solutions we've created our own brokerage under the texas real estate commission for the property management side. We still do sales under EXP, but they don't really touch the property management and the sales. So um, this is why we're hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it, uh, this is not for investing. And I, hope, I keep stressing this. This is not to teach you how to invest. It's not like the uh, real estate investor association meetings that they have. This is basically what you need to do when you actually have a tenant and you put them in there and things that you need to do as far as maintenance, inspections, um, uh, finding tenants, things of that nature. So basically boots on the ground. Well, that's what I call it. Just boots on the ground. You have your property. We're going to stick a tenant in there. How are you going to take care of it? Basically. So that's uh, this Saturday. That's going to be at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Also at the Fairnon office of uh, Align Mortgage. We have a few people already signed up for that. So we look, look forward to seeing them. Um, next week after is what, uh, is our buyers, now buyer mm -hmm. seminar. So, yes. So we're going to have our buyer seminar ne next Saturday, which is the 26th, something like that. Yeah. 26. Sure. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to be at once again, the fair non office, uh, at a line mortgage we're talking to buyers. We have like think like 10 people already signed up nice. and stuff like that so uh, it should be a good information this is not just for first time home buyers this is for anybody that's thinking of buying a home we're basically going to uh, talk to you about the process of buying a home uh, we're also having chris fouts on, out there he's going to be talking about he's a he's a lender with the line mortgage he's going to be talking about um just the lending process the mortgage process and then we're also going to have harley walters out there he is a credit guy with Texas Custom Credit Repair, and he's going to go out there and he's going to give you some advice on building your credit so that you can mm -hmm. purchase a home. So we say that if you're even thinking of purchasing a home within the next 12 to 18 months, come on out and get some information uh, because sometimes if your credit is not that great, you know what? Harley 
and Chris will work together and they will help you mm -hmm. increase your credit so that you can actually purchase your home in the future. So um, come on out and get some good information. They've got some great, great uh, uh, deals between the two of them to really help clients out. It's, it's a good stuff. Yeah. And then lastly, it's tidbit Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> tidbit Thursday. This is what tidbit Thursday is. Uh, we once again, we just love to educate and help people talking about just real estate and San Antonio specifically. We haven't really done anything San Antonio specifically this month. Uh, we've planned to, but the weather kind of threw us off a little bit. So <laughs> mm. we'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, but every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central, we are here trying to help people. Uh, if you can get on here, great. If you can't get on here, you can watch this uh, recording on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Just go to our YouTube channel or, and watch it. But if you can get on here, we would love to see you getting on here and posting comments and sharing it with other individuals so that we can help more people. So yes. any other things before we sign out? I think that's that's been that's everything. I think that's I think that's all of it covered. Yeah. That was our commercials at the end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Well, we thank you for watching. And if you are in the I-10 Fair Non area, come in uh join us tonight join us tonight for those business owners uh, eat some pizza and drink some drinks with us regular drinks not alcoholic drinks but <laughs> come on out and, and and uh just support support and, and network with us all right y'all have a good week and we will see you next thursday bye harley <laughs>